Hello everybody, um, so today is the day I do a draw this again challenge. This is the kind of thing where you realize just how much time has gone by and how long you've been drawing for, at least for me that's what it was. Because my first drawing is from 2009, that is 10 years ago and as you can see it is not <laughs> the best drawing I've ever done. Um, it is not, uh, you know, it's, it's what I did when I was a kid. I thought it was really cool looking and I thought I was like so cool for making this character. Um, and then I drew it again in 2012 and I think what was so interesting about it was I got this really anime look to my style because that was what I was really into at the time. And I found that I improved so much in between just these three years and I feel like this is true of everyone where when you start out you improve really quickly. You just, you're like lightning speed. You, you improve so fast, you just absorb that knowledge so quickly. But as time goes on it's kind of a bit of a curve and it gets slower, your progress gets slower and you have to start focusing a lot more on the basics and you have to kind of start pushing yourself to learn as opposed to it just coming so easily and like these eureka moments are fewer and further between because I think um, with my improvement it all kind of started out with you know I just would draw like anime characters that I saw I like loved Bleach and I loved all these different you know animes and characters like online people on DeviantArt I'd like copy um, all these different people's art and it wasn't even something that I uploaded it was just because I was a kid and it was so fun for me. I remember this video I used to watch all the time and it had all these wolves in it and it was my favorite video and it literally like I don't know it just set off this spark of inspiration in me and I have never stopped drawing since it because I used to lo love love drawing like cringy wolf stuff and it's archived on this channel but maybe someday I'll unarchive it and everyone will be able to see my um very beautiful cringy wolf animations I used to make when I was like 12. Um, anyway, I think, um, you know, I improved a lot in this period, but then, you know, there's seven years between that and me drawing now, and I realize there's so many things that I feel like I haven't improved as much on, or like I'm not as happy with, or I feel like I'm falling behind a little bit. Um, and I think that that just comes with uh, getting better and improving. You're more critical of your own work and you notice the things that are wrong with it. And I think that uh, this made me realize like how much more I want to improve. Because sometimes you see these improvement memes and someone's like literally improved so much in just like one year. But man, that takes a lot of work. and. I think that it's time for me to start putting the work in again, you know? I've been really trying to do studies every day and paint and do all that, um, but it's just really interesting to see like how far you've come, especially with this, because I definitely look back and see how bad my shading was, but then I see, you know, there were some things that weren't so bad. I think. Um, I improved on a lot of things like posing and perspective and direction and coloring and shading, all those things I feel like I improved on, but not to the point that I want to improve on it. But I think that this is a really enlightening thing and I think a lot of artists should definitely do this. Definitely just pull out one of your old pieces and like redraw it, repaint it, do it again and just see how you've improved and see the areas that you wish you'd improve more on and just to, like keep going because I think um, this really helped me put things in perspective I guess and it's just funny because I still haven't decided what my art style is or what my art style is going to be and 
this showed me that I've always kind of had a look to my work and it's not like super distinct yet. I haven't have had like a fully realized moment, but it's enough to be something, it's something that I can keep working towards and a direction I can keep working towards. So I learned a lot from this. I honestly did. And I think that honestly anyone could learn a lot from just taking something that is super old of their art and just redrawing it. And I think um, the best part is that you get to see how much you've grown and you get to feel so much more confident in your stuff because look at look at how far you've come and that's just that's amazing i mean you've trained this skill and you've made it this far and you're going to keep going you know <laughs> and that's what i love about this kind of a thing so i'm definitely going to keep this one for next time and hopefully i can do it again like next year and have some crazy big improvement like some of the ones you see on like deviant art and stuff where they literally improved like from amateur to professional artist in like one year oh my gosh but that kind of stuff it just takes lots of work so <laughs> got a lot of work ahead of me but you know that's always a good thing that's always a good thing I don't think that anyone should ever feel discouraged when doing something like this because it's all about how much you improve and how much you've progressed. And that's something that's really cool. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, just like a quick little one. I'm trying to upload weekly, but we'll see how this works out. I'm just uh, starting out here on YouTube. So <laughs> there's a lot of stuff I don't know or don't know how to do yet, but we'll figure it out, you know? We'll just keep going and yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe and like the video if you want. And let me know if you liked it in the comments below. Thank you so much. Bye.